For this video, I'm going to be talking about how to write an essay. Now, essay writing can be certainly very, very challenging. But as long as you break down the essay into certain categories and different sections, chunking an essay really allows for you to brain, not only brainstorm, but to generate some very strong ideas. This video is going to focus particularly on the first section of essay writing, which is the brainstorming piece. When it comes to understanding how to write in an essay, you got to firstly understand what the expectations are. Now, the best way to do that is to review uh, what does my handout suggest? What is the topic I'm going to be selecting? How am I going to be getting evaluated? Am I using APA format or MLA format? And what is the teacher really going to be focusing on? Is it going to be a thesis statement? Is it going to be how logical my argument is? Is there going to be a piece that really focuses on grammar and sentence structure? And where to find that is going to be inside of your rubric. So the first thing I want you to do is to look at the essay handout. The second thing is I want you to look at your essay rubric. And the third thing that I want you to be able to, to review is the essay outline. And the essay outline is going to be key because that's your teacher suggesting to you how there's how they recommend you to write out your essay an essay outline while some students might believe might be a waste of time or that they might not need it is extremely beneficial because what that allows for a student to do is to basically insert whether it's point form or in short sentences their ideas and it's going to allow for you to organize it once you finish your essay outline you can essentially take out the portion piece that says topic sentence that will say um, uh, point proof and analysis and you can merge all of those sentences those sentences making a body paragraph and all of your different paragraphs so it's very beneficial for you to use an essay outline as well now in the first piece when you're beginning to explore your different topics what i recommend is that you write down all the different topics down some cases you're going to have four essay topics, maybe a five, and you're going to see which one of those essay topics you have the most ideas for. Now, you create a chart almost, four different sections, and for each one of those topics, you start to write down ideas that you have from the story that fit that topic that you can discuss. After you finish writing all of them down, look at the different qualities. That, and, and the contents that you have for each piece. If you only have one point for one of the topics, it's probably not the topic for you. But if you have maybe four or five strong points on a specific topic, I highly recommend you, you go down with that topic that you choose to select that. Now, organizing and preparing for your essay is essential because once you have things clearly organized and you know your ideas, that's going to allow for the writing piece to really be a, a, a lot easier. A lot of students struggle with writer's block. It's a common thing. I experienced it. I know lots of people have. It's not uncommon. But when you've already brainstormed and generated a certain idea, at this point, it really allows for you to kind of revert back to what your main idea is and prevent you from having writer's block. Because you know, hey, this is kind of the core idea that I want to run with. Other things that really are beneficial when essay writing are things such as graphic organizers. Organizing your different ideas and utilizing those different ideas to ultimately connect them to one main idea. Make sure, ladies and gentlemen, that for our essay that you're going to be using the essay outline, you review the hand, you review the rubric, and ultimately that you end up uh, writing a very clear and concise essay. Should you have any questions, always feel free to contact me. Thank you so much and have a great day.